Well, a bit of rain in the forecast for the next couple of days. It looks, looks like, like it. Yeah, it's not it, in, the, in the, you know in the morning for the rowing. They want to have a pretty decent uh, you know time in the morning. Okay. And the afternoon and evening is when it's going to be the heaviest. But there'll still be some showers in the morning too. It looks like okay. uh, even despite that, they'll be scattered in the morning, more numerous in the afternoon and evening. I hope that helps. But uh, we are going to see some uh, pretty heavy showers and storms like we've seen today. And speaking of storms, I talked to these kids about storms and. <laughs> what they're all about. This morning, this is the Lakeview Lancers. I went to the Lancers. That was my uh, mascot back in the day in high school, the Lancers. And uh, you can see the fifth grade class. They're just part of them. Uh, they had some excellent questions they were asking. I'm right there below that guy with his hands up in the back. See me right there? I'm hiding. It's kind of like find, what's that guy's name? Finding, uh, yeah, exactly. Where's Waldo? Where's Bob? There he is right there. Fifth grade class this is the other half of them right there. And again, uh, great questions. They were asking all sorts of questions. I think a couple of these kids are going to be reporters. They have follow-up questions on top of that. So, again, thanks for inviting me out. And then Norm, Norm Schimmel, sending this photo in of Don. Yeah, Norm, Don, this is a Sarasota. A beautiful shot there. We talked about clouds too to those kids, uh, about cumulonimbus and cirrus clouds and all sorts of different clouds. And here's some more. Uh, once in a while, you'll see some raindrops on the lens here, and that's a result of this tropical disturbance, which is working its way up from the south uh, right into the Gulf of Mexico. It won't develop into this huge storm system, so that's not a big concern. But what is a concern is the heavy rainfall. You know, we're just getting below flood stage in most of the rivers and streams, and now with all this rain headed in our direction, it's probably going to go back above. Flood stage once again. I'm talking about the Peace River in Arcadia and also uh, Horse Creek as well as the uh, Manatee River near the Mayaka Head. And here's that rain now moving through the Keys. There's no real circulation. You see, it's just a broad area of low pressure. Once in a while, you get a little twist. You can see that counterclockwise swirl right there. But this plume of moisture extends all the way well south of Jamaica. Uh, just off the coast of Nicaragua. And look at this rain now near Lee County into Fort Myers and Naples, stretching all the way over into uh, Highlands County. All this kind of working its way in our direction. It will let up a little bit due to the heating of the day being used up, the energy in the atmosphere being used up. But there'll still be enough energy, I think, even overnight showers are possible, scattered about, becoming more numerous like we're seeing this afternoon and evening down to our south. Right now that rain is occurring from Venice through Osprey all the way up into Sarasota and then on into Anna Maria Island, pushing off to the west, southwest. Behind it, some light rain falling into places like, oh, Mayaka City, as well as into near Arcadia and Hidden River. You can see that rainfall rate uh, nearly uh, two inches an hour there on near Cortez and also Longbow Key, stretching off uh, toward Anna Maria Island. The rainfall estimates already over an inch reported just with that one cell that moved on through uh, near Northport. You see that steady plume of moisture heading uh, to the north from the south there, and tropical downpours are anticipated on Saturday and Sunday. And even into Monday, we'll get a little windy too on Monday and Tuesday now as the system uh, kind of moves off to the north. You can see that a large area of low pressure extending all the way down to Nicaragua and Central America. And as it moves northward, it will drag some of that moisture in our direction. 77 right now at the airport. We have clouds, some light rain, and the dew point 73, the pressure 29.92 inches, and that is holding steady. Our high today was 89, the low this morning is 74, a couple of degrees above average. And so far, one one hundredth of an inch of rainfall at the Sarasota Bradian Airport, and for the month now, over 11 and a half inches. The forecast tomorrow calling for a few clouds, a few showers in the morning, becoming more numerous in the afternoon and evening. High temperatures will warm into the mid to upper 80s. And we're also watching this area of disturbed weather. This is a, has a very small chance at 20%, and it's going to be working its way off to the west-northwest, so we'll watch that as well. The hurricane season not over yet. We still have a couple of storms out there in the Atlantic, but having no impact on any land area at this time as they move off to the northeast. Temperatures fall-like conditions over the Great Lakes. 60s from Detroit to Minneapolis uh, to Kansas City now at 77. For boaters, Outside of the uh, showers and storms around, winds will be out of the east, turning to the north at 10 knots, and we'll see a light chop on the bays and in the waters. Water temperature now 86 degrees, and the beaches will see a high of 85. UV index going down because of the increased cloud cover. High tide upcoming for Sarasota Bay, 1044, and another at 834 tomorrow morning. Scattered storms, some heavy rain possible, mostly cloudy tomorrow, variable clouds, showers and storms, likely a high of 88 degrees, and the extended forecast is calling for more rain on Sunday, but uh, it's not uh, going to be all day. We'll see showers and storms on Monday and Tuesday, windy weather as well, and we'll be right back after this.